Today we have the honor of celebrating the memory and legacy of a man who has been a dear friend to Biola over the years and whose impact on the world for Christ has been significant, Chuck Colson. I'm pleased to announce that in consultation with the Colson family and the Chuck Colson Center for Christian Worldview, Biola University is establishing the Charles W. Colson Conviction and Courage Award to honor this heroic Christian leader. This will be awarded to individuals who embody the attributes demonstrated in the life of Chuck Colson, a Christ follower driven by biblical conviction and the courage to advocate for truth, even when it's undesirable or difficult or unfashionable. A man whose calling was to serve the disadvantaged and voiceless and to challenge Christians to understand biblical faith as an entire worldview that informs all areas of life. We thought it only appropriate that we give the inaugural Courage and Conviction Award posthumously to Chuck Colson himself. In launching this award, we are honored to be joined tonight by Alan Terwelliger, president of the Colson Center, and Christopher Colson, the son of Chuck Colson, who will accept the award on his father's behalf. And I will invite Chris Colson here in a minute, and Alan Terwelliger, thank you so much. Would you please stand so we can recognize you? Chuck Colson became a follower of Christ in 1973 after pleading guilty to an obstruction of justice charge in Watergate scandal. He entered Alabama's Maxwell Prison in 1974 as a new Christian. In 1976, founded Prison Fellowship, which has since become the world's largest outreach to prisoners, to ex-prisoners, their families, with ministry in 113 countries. Dr. Colson also founded the Chuck Colson Center for Christian Worldview, a research study and networking center for the cultivation of a Christian worldview. In his lifetime, Chuck Colson authored over 30 books, founded a daily radio show, Breakpoint, which today airs on 1,400 radio networks. He received 15 honorary doctorates, and in 1993 was awarded the Templeton Prize for Progress in Religion, the world's most substantial annual award in the field of religion. He donated this prize to further the work of Prison Fellowship, which he did with all of his speaking fees and royalties. Dr. Colson's life is an inspiring example of what it means to impact the world for Christ through a life of conviction and courage, something we at Biola also strive to do. For Biola, conviction is what keeps us strongly anchored to our Christian worldview and belief in the authority of Scripture and the Lordship of Christ. And courage is what compels us to innovate, to dialogue, to take on new challenges, to partner, to do all this with grace and truth. Bio desires to continue serving with a soul of conviction and speaking with a voice of courage, which was modeled so well in the life of Charles W. Colson. And we'll continue this legacy by equipping our students to become the intellectual and spiritual leaders that our world needs and by partnering with individuals and organizations who also carry the torch of courage and conviction for the cause of Christ. Future recipients of this award will be individuals who demonstrate commitment to the unshakable truths of a biblical worldview, which is conviction, as well as a willingness to act on biblical convictions to serve the least advantage, however risky or challenging it may be, which is courage. Recipients will be people committed to advancing Christ's kingdom through evangelism, discipleship, Christian worldview training, individuals who defend religious freedom and advocate for the weak and defenseless, men and women who model bold, visionary, and courageous Christian leadership for the next generation. This was certainly true of the late Chuck Colson, a man I had the pleasure of calling a friend. One of those moments came just a few weeks before his death in 2012 at the gathering of Christian leaders and educators that he convened all of us in Virginia. And that day he discussed the path before us in promoting biblical thinking and confronting injustice and evil. And right up to the end of his life, he was driven by unwavering convictions. Dr. Colson was a great encouragement to me personally, and he had long been an ally and advocate for Biola. He spoke at this very commencement in 1996. In a letter he wrote to me during my first year in 2008, he described Biola as one of, quote, the most respected Christian institutions in America, a beacon of light in the evangelical world. He also expressed his admiration for the role this university plays in preparing graduates like you to deal with the increasing pressures from a skeptical and cynical world. Biola is forever grateful to Chuck Colson for his endorsement of our mission, but far more importantly than that, for his own important work for the kingdom of God. And so it is my great honor tonight to 
to honor the legacy of this great Christian leader with the inaugural Charles W. Colson Conviction and Courage Award. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming Christopher Colson, his son, to accept this award on his father's behalf. President Corey, trustees of Biola, and distinguished guests, on behalf of my father and the entire Colson family, I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for establishing the Charles W. Colson Conviction and Courage Award. As you might know, my father was extremely uncomfortable accepting accolades, and if he were standing here today, he would immediately give all the honor to Jesus Christ and to the thousands of men and women whom he inspired to bring the gospel to the least, the last, and the lost. In that spirit, I and the Colson family gladly accept this inaugural award on his behalf. Again, thank you, and God bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. I know you're going to be really soon, but we're so glad to have you here. We hope you enjoyed this message. Biola University offers a variety of biblically-centered degree programs, ranging from business to ministry to the arts and sciences. Learn more at biola.edu.